Hi everyone, this is Steve from Mr. Jenna All in One. How are you guys doing today? In today's video, I'm gonna do a haul video of my first Christian Louboutin shoes. Oh my god, I I just died, seriously. So let's get started and to show you what is this shoes all about. So before I show you the new shoes that I got, I want to give you a little background. If you asked me three years ago what I spent a lot of money in buying you a designer shoes, I'm gonna tell you three years ago, I'm gonna say no. There's no reason to do it because t three years ago, I always feel this way. Main shoes looks the same. I mean, unless you look at the bottom of the shoes, you, you are not gonna know who made that shoes. So why spend so much money buying designer shoes? So about two years ago, I bought my first Jimmy Choo. Yeah, you got it. So I got my first Jimmy Choo and I was doing event and then almost immediately people noticed that oh my god I love your shoes who's that by and that's actually the first time a customer uh, noticed by my, my shoes so I'm like oh my god maybe I should start invest money buying a designer shoes so just like anyone of you out there you know I want to save money to spend the money um, uh, what's right for me basically so I start shopping at outlet store and buying different designer shoes in the outlet and um I think it was about last year I went to start I started buying shoes at Saks Fifth Avenue it just happened that I was doing a master class and I don't have the right shoes and I went to buy my first uh, Louis Lehman from Saks and that was like a pretty expensive shoes and once again I got a lot of attention for what I wore what I wear for that event so I started invest money buying designer shoes and that is a terrible mistake let me tell you that so what I want to share with you is like you know before you spend money buying any designer item really look into at that what is a return investment do you really need these shoes or do you really need this handbag and for me my excuse is that I do a lot of events I'm on stage all the time and people do look at what I wear so I thought I think that's a good investment so that's the story I'm gonna stick to it what's your story buying designer shoes let me know in a comment below okay well let's get started the shoes right now I I walk into South Coast Plaza at the Cushion Louis Vuitton Boutique and um, I just did not see the shoes I like and I have to tell you I was a little shocked on the price I mean I bought quite a few Louis Vuitton shoes Christian Louis Vuitton shoes are actually more expensive than Louis Vuitton and I was just like oh my god that's pretty expensive anyway so when you open the box what let me show you here okay the shoes is in the um, actually I put it in the uh, dust bed right now I want to protect it so you can see it's the velvet Christian Louis Vuitton um, dust bed and you always want to keep your shoes clean clean otherwise you get very damp I mean get dirty very quickly are you ready to see it are you ready can you see it can you see it <gasps> look at this beauty oh my god so everybody know that Christian Louis Vuitton famous for the red saw here it's the red lacquer and how did he discover this is when he first designed his shoes in 1990 and he was looking at his assistant and she's putting in a red nail polish and he said oh that's perfect for the red salt and for the season as a statement after he launched his shoes a lot of people say please don't stop keep on doing it it's very unique very special and that's why that all his shoes has a red salt beneath there so you can see a detail of attention it's beautiful I haven't worn this yet I just feel like oh I don't want to wear this is so pretty and um this shoes actually coming I think three or four different color there's a green I mean this blue and this eggplant color and then there's actually a, a rainbow color too but I found that the black is probably more sophisticated they told me that the, the red locker here the difference than the woman ones this is actually painted much more deeper so when I wore this you won't damage that much but just so you know that no matter what you do you will wear out of red so you know you, if you want to I heard that some place they offer to repaint this little repaint the red I don't know where so if you know where they can repaint the red let me know I live in California and um, I would like to start wearing the shoes but I don't want to damage the shoes so if you look at the shoes right now it's really um, very detail is very very beautiful yeah I'm gonna show, show you close set here so obviously the spike is right here and you can see the lace around the shoe right here. let me show you a little bit the lace around here it's very very nice and all the stitches in there you can see it it's very very detailed attention um, I really like it let me show it back here 
okay so again this is my first Christian Louis Vuitton and I'm definitely gonna wear this when I do a big event on stage it is so pretty look at this and oh, you can totally smell the quality of leather too and actually that I don't know if you can tell once you wear the shoes the leather actually gonna have a little stretch in there it just to show that you wear the shoes all you know I think it would be really nice so that's the shoes I got from Christian Louis Vuitton and um, I just want to close this that um, if you want to see other shoes reviewed, the other designer shoes I have, I can do a little video. But let me know if you want to see it. If you don't want to see it, I'm not going to do this again. And because I want to do a video that what you really want to see. I hope you enjoyed this episode of me searching all you want. And tell me uh, what is your first designer shoes. Mine was Jimmy Choo. And I want to hear what is your first designer shoes. And leave the comment below there. I want to hear the story behind that. I think we'll all have that moment that, oh my god, I gotta have a moment, right? So don't forget to subscribe Mr. Jen All In One on my YouTube channel and share my video on your social media networks such as Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, and Twitter too. So I really appreciate that. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.